Last week, Hannah helped Nanny and Grandad launch their Victoria 34 Pintail and sail her into Chatham Marina for the first time. This week, now the weather's warming up, we don't really do anything with Rowena. So we go to the Clark and Carter second-hand boat show at Gillingham Marina just to look at some other boats. with us and then he's squishing me here we are it's quite they just want people to go in there and not in here so where do we go then The first boat that we took a look at was a Moody 28. This design was only in manufacture for a couple of years, between 1985 and 87, and is one of the smallest boats that Moody have ever made. And yet, although it's actually only 27 foot 6 inches long, it packs an awful lot into this small space. <laughs> As you can see, this particular example is a fin kill boat. There's a good sized cockpit, nice clear decks, a simple single spreader masthead rig, and a nice solid feel to the build. Bottle gas locker. Where's the whole size? Strange, is it? Yeah, there's a bed here, Mum. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's quite nice, look. Not easy to get down the steps. But no, not much of your room. It's not easy to get down. Down below at the port, we find the heads, and just in front of this is the chart table and navigation equipment. Yeah, for 28 footer, it's big, isn't it? Yeah. And then if you can stand in there and have that. Can you sit on it if you check the head height? Oh. That's 
on the starboard side there is a good sized double cabin and this is located just behind the galley area which is a gimbal twin burner stove and oven. <laughs> Moving forward into the main cabin there is a good sized folding table and two settees that can sleep two more. And then up front we find another cabin with a V-berth. All in all, an amazing amount of space and comfort for a boat that is less than 28 foot long. Can I get back in there Nigel, I'll just see what the bottom of the door is like. We were really impressed with Nikita, the 28 foot Moody, but now we go looking for something a bit bigger. The man, um, the man at the main office, with the guy we saw last week. Oh, was he? Yeah, and he said, I thought I recognised you. He said, he said I, saw, I was on Facebook last night. Your wife Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, there. Hello. 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 Hannah's got the book. Hello, Phil. What do you fancy? Yeah, well, I can't afford any of the ones <laughs> <laughs> Are you so in you, here, Maud? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll live in here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, we've just got big two moves. They're, yeah. they're just down there. They're coming next to me. They've got the birth oh, next to me now, so we can... Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're going to chat across the birth. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think they get it cheaper if they come next to me. That's all it is. <laughs> 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 yeah, because you've got the small one at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah but then we've been out to do things we've never driven from, no beach. You've been to see the submarine yeah. and yeah, yeah. all that sort of thing, yeah. Oh yeah, there are benefits to things yeah. like that, yeah. but obviously all back to yeah. the size it's of it. Yeah. 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 Should we try that? Yeah, I'll let you. Yeah, that oh, must be nice to see you. Do you want to try Jill or you're not? No, I'm alright. Yeah? yeah? With the staunches. Down. Lovely white deck. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. So the next boat we take a look at is quite a bit bigger. This is Amarula, a Rob Humphreys designed Gypsy 414. I first noticed this boat on our river a number of years ago now. She seemed to me to have nice lines. A good combination of a powerful performance sailing yacht and yet comfortable cruiser yeah, yeah, down below. And indeed, this is what she turned out to be. Your That's it! Yeah. They're not doing anything. Yeah. That's it! That's it for the YouTube channel. Yeah, well, go, go and have a look then. And that's where all the instruments are down there. great size cockpit with a large wheel, something that I like as it allows the helm to get to the side of the boat and yet still have good control, with all the major sail and engine controls within easy reach. Oh. Down below there are two excellent double cabins either side and to aft, with the one on port slightly smaller as it is next to the day head. There is a second larger head up front as this is the en suite to the front V-berth. The main saloon area is great, with a lot of space and separate from the large linear galley that is to starboard. Right, can we go 
remember. Daddy, cool. if we get this that boat, the front cabin's mine. Is it? Yeah. Not sure we can really afford this one, is it? Oh no, it's good isn't it? Good size. Quite Useful shape pocket. as well because you could put you know your daily stuff yeah. there and your storage there. Yeah. Oh, Dad. Dad, you sure you don't check out the engine? Yeah I will do. I'll get past Nigel and yeah. we'll get that front. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I think yeah. this would be Mummy and Daddy's room. No, you get a seat for me. Mm. Here we go, shower. How much space you have? you both find that much? That's a shower. Mm. Mm. Does this not move at all? No, that's fixed. Yeah. Yeah, Nigel. How do you use that clutch up there? <laughs> so that was it. It wasn't the nicest of days and the guy looking after the keys had gone for lunch. So we called it a day as well and headed home. a boat you liked with a double bed sofa and an ensuite didn't you Ease? and apparently that would be her room you liked that one didn't you <laughs> <laughs>